Okay, today, uh, for my podcast, I will be talking about the upcoming World Cup in 2010 in South of Africa, and who I think will be the contenders, and who has the best chance of winning the tournament. So, I pretty much have buckled it down to about five teams that really have a good chance of winning. One, Brazil. Two, would be Spain. Three, would be, I'd say, either Germany or France. And then my sleeper would be uh, from Africa, because there's always a team that usually, from the host country, that usually goes farther than anyone really expected to. So that would be my best, the best team from Africa, I would say, would be Ivory Coast. So I'm break down how come I think every, those teams will win the World Cup. So let's first start with Brazil. What more can you say about Brazil? They're probably arguably the best football nation of all time. They're the all-time World Cup winners, you know, six, and they always have the best players all over the world. They're the most coveted football players in the world. So here's why they have the best chance of winning. One, they're attacking. They have probably the top five attackers in the world. One, they have Kaká, who's arguably the best player in the world, who's pretty much the pull strings, pulls the strings for Brazil. You know, he's their number 10, the best player. And uh, he can do everything. He can pass, he can dribble, he can take care of possession, just, he can do everything. Next, they have Rubinho, who at times, when he's playing his best, can be the best player in the world. He can dribble, he can shoot, he can pass, he can do everything. And up front, they have the striker, uh, Luis Fabiano. He plays for Se Sevilla in the Spanish League. He is arguably one of the best strikers that are playing right now. He's tearing up in his domestic league in La Liga, and he's scoring for goals for Brazil nonstop. Um, the only weakness, I, of course, with Brazil is always their defense. They have Maicon, Danny Alves, and Lucio, and you know they're, those guys are probably the best in the world. So they really don't have a weakness. Sometimes they can play lazy, and uh, you know that's the only thing. And but their coach has them playing real good right now. And Kaká, Robinho, and Luis Feriano are the main reasons why they're probably the favorite. Second probably favorite would be Spain. Spain uh, is coming off a, a great year. They've had a great two years. They won Euro 2008 and they have arguably probably the best midfield in the world with uh, Xavi, Iniesta, and um, Seth Fabregas, and D David Silva. And also they have probably the best striker in the world, Fernando Torres, and David Villa who's not far behind. Um, you know, their defense is also their weakest point. Um, they have Sergio Ramos on the right back. He is a, he's a little shaky, but at, some, at times when he's playing good, he's, he's one of the best in the world. And um, then they have uh, Puyo, who's one of the best center backs in the world. Um, they have a great chance. And, you know, they obviously have, they probably have the best keeper in the world in Iker Casillas, who lets nothing get through his net. So he's a great, he, Spain has a great chance. They're coming real hot and, they won Euro 2008, so they have, they have one of the best teams and their favorites too. Next, let's go to uh, Germany. Germany, never, not really one of the best sides to watch. You know, they have three, three or four, I think three World Cup wins. You know, they have Michael Ballack, Bastian Sw Schweinsteiger, Lucas Podolski, uh, Frank Ribéry. They're a real, t not the best team to watch, but they have real good possession. And, you know, usually they're, they're always right there in the thick of things. They always have a good chance. They always have a team out there that just can, can beat anybody. And then next, we'll go with Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is kind of the dark horse. They're the most talented African team in the Cup, in the World Cup. You know, they have the most foreign players. They have Didier Drogba, who's the top five striker in the world, plays for Chelsea. And next, they have Solomon Kalou, who also plays for Chelsea. Great pace, real fast. And then in the midfield, they have um, Emmanuel Boué who also plays for Arsenal in the English Premier League. And then they have uh, Yaya Toure, who plays for Barcelona. He's a midfielder. Then they have um, another Toure who plays center back, who's also one of the best players. And they just have the most talent of any of the, any of the uh, African teams. So, I mean, they have a great chance to really go far. And who will see? Um, you know, there's just a bunch of teams. You know, the Netherlands are very talented. They can also have a great chance. Uh, there's... There's Argentina, who's very talented also, but I go with my two favorites would probably be Spain and Brazil. They're just the most talented.